Okay. Yeah, so you're live now. Uh, I'll just introduce you. Oh. Uh, so we have, hello attendees. So we have with us Dr. Sendil Kumar R. So his workshop is on digital image processing using Google Collab. I'll just hand it over to Mr. Sendil Kumar. Uh, Sandeep Kumar, you can continue your workshop. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Sandeep Kumar from Institute of Broadband Transport Technology, Tamil Nadu. Uh, today, um, I'm going to give you some uh, few exercises, and I want to discuss with uh, in Google Colab. First participants is just. Uh, um, Login using your Gmail ID, right? So that you can save your files in your drive. Login using your Gmail ID like this. I have already logged into my Gmail ID like this. Use Chrome browser. The instructions are already given. Use Chrome browser. Just log in with your Gmail ID so that everything you type in the Google Colab will be saved in your drive. Will be saved in your drive. Okay, so log in using your Gmail ID. Okay, I think uh, everyone uh, logged into your Gmail ID. Okay, go to Google. Just type. Yeah, uh, Mr. Sandil Kumar, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, okay. Can you make your audio a little bit more louder? Okay. Can you speak a little bit louder? Is it audible? No, this voice is audible. This voice is audible. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, you need to keep it constant. Just... Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Um, just uh, log in your Gmail ID. Okay. Everyone log into your Gmail ID, I think. Then uh, go to Google. Type Google Colab. Type Google Colab. Right? Are you able to see this link, Google Collaboratory? Are you able to see Google Collaboratory? Click this Google Collaboratory. Okay. Um, I think you may be able to view the screen examples, recent Google Drive, GitHub, upload. Yeah. And keep, uh, whether this is visible. This one is able to view examples, recent Google Drive, GitHub, upload. Uh, Sasi Rafa, is this, uh, this screen is visible? Yes, uh, it is visible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, okay, go to upload. Okay, just go to google.com, type Google Call App. And select Google Collaboratory. Okay. If you select Google Collaboratory, automatically the screen will open. Go to Upload. Okay. Choose File. Choose File. Please download all my uh, access. Right, both images, videos, and uh, images, videos, and uh, uh, two iPython notebooks in your desktop. In your desktop, or you can save it in your Google Drive. Okay. You have two iPython notebook in, uh, in the link I shared to you. Download the access folder in your in your desktop. In the access you have two ipython notebook select matplotlib underscore pill ipython one 
FII 2020 workshop 19 December laptop underscore film dot ipython notebook this one open it open it open it it will have around uh, some 12 exercise in a single item ipython notebook you have 12 exercise You have to all access. You have to all access. Yeah. Whether participants are you getting the screen like this? IPython notebook, sci-fi workshop 2020, image processing using map lib and the pillow Python libraries. List of access like this. Participants are you able to uh, view first. Are you able to view this one? Are you facing any difficulty in viewing this one? If you open the SciPython notebook, you will be able to see this. SciPy Workshop 2020 Image Processing Map Project and Pillow Python Libraries. Within this IPython notebook, you have some 11 exercise. First exercise, simple image read and display. Second exercise, pseudo color image color bar. And uh, image resizing, third one, one image interpolation. Then RGB to gray, histogram plot. Cropping a portion of an image, shape of an image, and grayscale conversion, image transform, image filtering, and image details and changing image file format. Changing image file format. In order to process, in order to process, uh, in order to uh, start with this exercise, first you have to load an image. Load an image. The right side, you are, you can uh, you are able to see this one. Right, right side, you are able to see this one. Like this, search icon like this. And then this one is files. Click this. Okay. Okay. Click this. Right. In SciPy India 2020, I have an access folder. I have all the images and videos for this workshop and two Python notebook. First, I want to save this image in the drive temporarily. Click drag and drop this image file here. Okay, bird one dot Japan. What you have to do? Download the access folder in your desktop. Go to that access folder. You you can use any one yeah uh, any one of this image or you can use some other images also, some other color image also. You can use your own image also. No problem. Okay. So what you have to do? First, click this image, right? Okay. Click this image, drag and drop here. Drag and drop here. Okay. 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 All of you. Um, all of you get into this stage up to this stage 
Ankit, verify if any, anyone is facing problem dragging or opening the uh, IPython notebook or uh, dragging and dropping the image files. So, as far as I know, I don't think anyone has any issues, or maybe they have not reached to that point. Uh, maybe you can wait for a few minutes. Okay, right. Okay, right. Okay, if anyone is facing this problem, please post your uh, doubts in the chat box. Organizers will convey the doubts to me. Okay, participants, anyone of having doubt regarding this, opening the IPython notebook the google call up and uh, dragging and dropping the image files so i guess uh, we are okay good to go you can continue okay right okay okay first i have to import uh, what are the Python libraries necessary for simple image parsing? Um, the, in the first, uh, first uh, IPython notebook, Matplotlib, and uh, NumPy, and the Pillow. So, what is the command to import Matplotlib and its uh, plotting libraries? Import Matplotlib dot pyplot spl and what is the command to import numpy import numpy as simply np and uh, what is the command used to process simple image processing uh, files what is the library corresponding sub library for matplotlib used to process simple image processing import matplotlib dot image yeah, some other uh, variable name img you can use some other variable number also not necessary img you can use some other variable number also but you have to uh, import this library in order to process the image processing using matplotlib import matplotlib dot image yes img and what is the command you should to import pillow from pal pillow is simply denoted by pal import image so you have to import image sub library from pillow in order to process image passing using pillow and then import numpy yes numpy no need to again import number numpy you can just delete this one i want to process simple uh, image filtering also so uh, i am going to uh, give you some demo related to image filtering also i'm going to discuss with the, uh, i'm going to pra practice this uh, uh, image filtering also for that you have to uh, import image filter sub library from the pillow main library python library from pill import image filter okay. first run this cell this cell whether you are getting error or not import matplotlib.pyplot.splt and uh, second library numpy import numpy as np uh, this pyplot used to plot simple uh, plots okay so in order to process image passing i got to import uh, what uh, uh, matplotlib dot image okay simply click this one you can uh, view this uh, what are the um, what are the what is the syntax for this one all those things okay and uh, in order to process image processing using pillow you have to import image in order to process some uh, additional uh, uh, what uh, filtering like operations you have to import separately those uh, sub libraries from the pillow main library now i am going to run this cell whether i am uh, getting error or not if the if there is any error in this uh, first cell you will get some red like mark here uh, hello, uh, Dr. Sindhil. Uh, sorry yes. to interrupt again. You can maybe okay. turn off your video and increase the font a little bit uh, so that they'll be able, uh, attendees will be able to view the content properly. Font size. 
yes and also you can turn off your video uh, my video Okay. Is okay. Yeah, you can increase the font size. Uh, so any options are here. Uh, you can just uh, uh, press control control and plus uh, keyboard control. buttons control, control plus just to control plus control plus yeah sure okay okay now it's visible are you able to view clearly uh, yes yeah okay okay uh, import uh, matplotlib.pyplot.splt import numpy as np okay are you able to read ankit yes it is okay right so run this first cell oh no error okay so in the, all those 11 access role i say uh, i want to run in, uh, i want to run separate program programs for this so I want to run in a single IPython notebook. So what I'm going to do here, just I'm getting if i0 uh, it goes to the first program, you can run the first program to read and display an image. If i equal to 1, it goes to the pseudo color image program. And if you want uh, i equal to 2, pseudo color image color bar program, you can run the program third program i equal to 2 in the fourth program image resizing for that you have to give the uh, feed the variable value equal to i equal to 3 similarly for fifth image interpolation sixth rgb to gray image and the seventh histogram if you want to plot a histogram plot you have to feed a uh, variable value equal to i equal to 6 histogram plot cropping a portion of image 8 and the shape of an image and the grayscale conversion uh, ninth program, image transform tenth program, image filtering eleventh program, image details and changing image file format fourth program. Right? Okay. I think all of you uh, open my IPython notebook, so no need to type this. Just you have to run this cell. Run this. Cell. give what i equal to zero okay if i equal to zero you can run this program first program if i equal to zero you can run this program okay print image and display img dot im read img is the uh, variable corresponds to this one map dot lip right okay it will automatically um, invoke map.lib libraries okay img dot im read you can here uh, you can give some other variable also im i1 i2 i3 something like that okay this img corresponds to map.lib dot image library okay im read this one is the syntax to read an image so what is the path of this uh, image stored in stored here so right click on this copy path or you can view this path of this file okay copy path okay where it is okay you can use here okay copy path you can even paste it here bird one dot paper Just to copy it here. Okay. 
okay plt dot io show this one is the python uh, ipolot library okay and plt dot show this one also matplotlib library right plt dot show plt is the variable assigned to matplotlib dot file of ipolot so this im show and the show corresponds to the matplotlib plotting libraries okay if you give simply plt dot im show you won't view the images so you have to again give this command plt dot show then only you can be able to view the image okay simply you are giving plt dot im show in google prolog you, you may not be able to view the image you have to give the command plt dot show then only you can be able to view the image okay and this program are you getting this print image and display are you able to this view this image everyone getting this image after running the first program okay plt map plotted by dot by plot and the plt is the variable correspond to the map plotted dot by plot okay this im show show correspond to the uh, coming under the map plotted python library simply you are giving plt dot im show you know you may not be able to view the image in the google folder you have to give plt dot show also right you have to give plt dot show then only you can be able to view this image Ankit, shall I proceed to the second, second experiment? Yes, you can. Okay, again go to this cell, this cell. Run this cell. Run this cell. You I equal to one for second program. Okay. Go to the second program. Go to the second program. For pseudo color image. So what is the name of the image? Bird one. Okay. Just run this program. Second program. Are you able to view this image? Pseudo color image. Pseudo color image. Actually, uh, this one is a color image. Uh, 3D matrix. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, you have a, a red, green, blue matrices. Just I'm invoking uh, the first two matrix only. Right? I jump colon comma I am colon comma I am square bracket colon comma colon comma zero. You will get a pseudo color image like this. If you want to give you a title for your image give like this plt dot title pseudo color image pseudo color image like this simply plotting ilt uh, im you will get a color image if you want to uh, plot the pseudo color image if you get if you want to get the pseudo color image from the color image original color image you have to give the command like this im square bracket colon comma colon comma zero Zero corresponds to the first matrix. Okay. Now go to this. We want to um uh, what uh, pseudo color image. If you want to view pseudo color image along with the color bar, go to the third axis, run this cell again. Speed i equal to 2, 
i equal to 2 enter this go to the third axis 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 yeah, uh, Dr. Sandil, uh, sorry yeah. to interrupt again. You can maybe close yeah. the side file browser uh, sidebar so that it the code expands. Okay, uh, this one. Yeah, uh, you can just click on that cross button. Correct. Uh, okay, right. Yeah, thanks. Okay. And then uh, run this. Oh, bird three is not available. Bird only yeah, available. Okay. Bird one, bird two. We, uh, we have placed only bird one, bird two in the uh, drive. So bird five is not available in the drive. So it was somewhere. Right? It. Okay. Pseudo color image with the color bar. Okay, with the color bar. So uh, what is the command you have to include in the um, how to get the color bar? Um, refer the previous program. We have uh, included additional term in the plt.im show that uh, sudo image comma cmap equal to hot. cmap equal to hot, color map equal to hot. And um, yeah, I want to display the color bar along with the image. So uh, what I have to uh, uh, what I have to do, I have to include this command plt.color bar okay in, uh, in addition with the image. So plt.im show shows only the pseudo color image only. Okay, color map equal to hot. If you want to uh, if I want to include the color bar along with the image, I have to uh, include the additional command plt.color bar so that I can get both color image and color bar. Right? Okay. Okay. What is the so, uh, Mr. Sandal Kumar, uh, okay. we have two quick questions, uh, okay. doubts from <clears throat> one is from Shreya Chawla. Okay. So, image square brackets colon comma colon comma zero okay. is the red plane of the color image. Uh, the image variable is what she is asking. So, <clears throat> so does that command image of square brackets colon comma colon comma zero uh, generates a red plane? Uh, Blue, that blue. is the question. Blue, blue, okay. blue, green, red, like that. Blue, green, red. Blue. Okay. So this is for blue color. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then we have one more question. So why the color changes if both are pseudo images? Why? Why the color changes if both are pseudo images? So yeah, actually. Uh, uh, grayscale content li lightly changes. That's why we are getting the color image. At, at original grayscale in the sense we can get uh, gray matter only. The gray matter uh, yes, uh, something uh, lightly changed, gray value slightly changed, you will get this, uh, this uh, color like images. Not as originally only. Okay. Yes, so suppose if you are using a, a inject print printer. Suppose you are using an inject printer, you have both uh, uh, color cartridge and uh, black and white cartridge. If you are going to uh, take a printout uh, using a, um, a black and white cartridge uh, with the color image, you will get uh, this pseudo color uh, images. Okay. If you are having an inject, inject printer, you have both uh, black cartridge and color cartridge. If you want to take color image uh, in the grayscale, you will get this pseudo color image. Okay, uh, so we do have one more question. So, okay. does the color bar represent intensity? Yeah, intensity only. Okay, yeah, so you can continue. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and the fourth axis is image recessing. Go 
fourth axis you have to feed i equal to 3 right image resizing i equal to 3 Three. Run this program. You may get error. Yep. I got to change bed one here. Okay. Run this program. So the image resizes to 128 plus 128. Okay. The type of image resizing interpolation method used is image dot anti -alyx. Right, uh, so it will offer it will avoid a uh, anti aliasing effect. Okay, this command. So the command used to resize the uh, image using matplotlib is im dot. Uh, so the this one is not belongs to matplotlib. This one belongs to pillow. This im image im age dot open. This command is supported by the pillow. That's why I am combined both matplotlib and pillow. Okay, I want to re if I want to resize, I got to uh, here I am using pillow library. Okay, this image dot open is the uh, is supported by the pillow library, not matplotlib. So uh, here I am using this uh, command to for uh, image resizing. Image dot open I am opening this dirt file and stored in the variable im. So what is the command? Uh, uh, to resize an image, I am dot thumbnail. Uh, I'm going to resize the image to 128 plus 128. Um, uh, image dot anti alias. This will avoid the anti aliasing effect in the uh, during the image resizing. And plot I am show I am plot image 128 plus 128 resize. Png dot show. Png dot show. So if I want to resize this to some uh, 64 plus 64. I can try it for 64 plus 64. That's image resolution may get tough. 64 plus 64, right? Okay, blurred. Okay, okay. Try it 64 plus 64. 64 plus 64. This image dot open. Is supported by the pillow so simply in the matplotlib alone is not sufficient for uh, all the varieties of image passing combining matplotlib uh, with the pillow you can uh, you can do more uh, image passing right more image passing applications simple image passing applications okay i am dot thumbnail what is the command for uh, what is the uh, function is to support uh, image uh, resizing. Im dot im is the variable where the image uh, matrices are stored. Im dot thumbnail supported by the pillow. Uh, well, what is the size actually you want to resize? Uh, that is given by uh, that uh, that uh, that you are going to give here. And comma if you if you want to avoid anti alias use image dot this one image dot pillow library image dot anti alias okay. Then uh, plot plt I am show this one supported by matplotlib and this one is supported by matplotlib and this one is set up supported by matplotlib. These two uh, functions are supported by the pillow. Right. Um, and this Sally proceed to next axis. Yes. Okay. I don't think we have any questions so far. Okay. And the fifth axis is image interpolation. Image interpolation. So you have to be this. Again, you are here. You are going to change. It. Bed one, bed two, or you can uh, load bed five, bed five also uh, from your folder, download a folder. Uh, you have the all those images. You can uh, download, uh, save all those bed files, uh, all those image files here. Okay, bed one dot jpeg.
So, right. Okay, here I am uh, again. Um, I'm going to resize this dead one image to 128 plus 128 uh, using the anti alias filter. Okay, what is the command? Dump mail, uh, resize uh, values and uh, image dot anti alias filter. And then I'm going to view what is the effort of with, without interpolation and with interpolation on the resize image. So for that, I am going to do what you going to do here figure comma as is plt dot subplots one comma two one row two column figure comma current figure comma its axis equal to plt subplots one comma two one row two column one row two column uh, what is the purpose of uh, doing uh, uh, what is the purpose of this exercise uh, i want to uh, what uh, i want to differentiate uh, the a resized image without interpolation and with the interpolation okay so x is zero x is zero in the sense first row first column uh, without interpolation image first row second column x is one with interpolated image what type of interpolation here i am going to use sync note that the image dot open is supported by the uh, thumbnail both these uh, commands are supported by the functions are supported by the hello python library and um, what uh, the subplots and um, axis zero axis one like this commands are supported by the uh, mathlib python library okay uh, okay right so first uh, uh, so uh, the first x zero from to first row first column first row first column i am going to plot the image without interpolation. First row, second column, I am going to plot image with the interpolation. Okay. The first image is the without interpolation and with the interpolation. With the sync interpolation, you can get some better resolution compared to without interpolation. You can use different variety of interpolation techniques. Uh, simple interpolation techniques here I'm using sync. Okay. Until shall I put the next comment? Yes. Sixth so, yes. comment. Color to grayscale conversion. Now to run this case one I am feeding I equal to five. Fifth case comment. Again uh, I am having bear one, bear two here. So that's why just uh, Opening page on number two. Um, so, okay. Okay, right. In this program. So, the first image is the color image, and the second one is the grayscale image. What I did here actually, this one is the original color image. And how to convert the gray color image to a gray scale image by using the command image dot open. Okay. And additional to this dot convert in bracket LA. So this one convert the uh, color image into gray scale image dot convert LA. dot convert la im1 dot save am underscore grayscale this converted grayscale image uh, saved in the name of im underscore grayscale dot png where it is saved go and check the file so that this uh, this uh, right im dot grayscale dot png available right okay saved in here okay and um, again i am going to plot uh, two plots uh, one is the first one is uh, color image uh, stored in the first row 
first column x is 0 dot uh, this one and uh, second one is first row uh, second column x is 1 dot i am show i am 2 so the first image is the color image and the next one is the grayscale image okay what is the command to set the title for the this one set underscore title set underscore title set underscore title So the converted grayscale image stored here. We can view here. Right? We are uh, we are we are not uh, dragging. Uh, we, uh, what we are not dragging actually. I am in grayscale. Bird one, bird two only. We we drag and drop here. This I am underscore grayscale is the output of the fifth program. It is stored by default here. We are not saved here. I am underscore grayscale dot png. So automatically the result saved here converted grayscale image saved here we are not saving uh, this image here right so already the result of this program uh, by default saved here right okay let's proceed to this experiment ankit sixth experiment uh, so we have one uh, query okay uh, so it's by bharga He's saying he can't see any difference between the interpolated image and uh, without interpolation image. Uh, he, uh, what he, what the participant has to he, he go and view the head of the head of the interpolated image uh, image and uh, head of the bird and uh, and uh, what uh, eye eye and nose. How sharp this one in the interpolated image? Okay. And the feathers. Okay, okay. Uh, somewhat uh, and the, and the, 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 the bird stomach somewhat uh, orange, more orange compared to the uh, image without interpolated interpolation. Okay, so you mean with interpolation, you increase uh, the sharpness of the image a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and what uh, sound texts histogram plot sound texts histogram plot i equal to six enter And I am going to change bed by two. Bed by two, bed one. And this cell. Okay. And the color image into the color of the scale image. Okay. And what is the command you should put plot histogram plot? Uh, the command, this command is uh, already available in the map. List, list, um, the image variable I am one, I am one dot image, I am one dot ravel. This convert, this uh, this one convert, uh, convert those uh, um, matrices into a single um, uh, then bins to fifty six. Uh, since uh, this one is the grayscale image, uh, 8 bit uh, image, you have the gay scale values, uh, pixel values varies from 0 to 255. So, number of bins equal to 256. Plot title, this you can just uh, click here, you can, uh, your, what is, uh, you can view the syntax for this one. In this one, you can view additional syntax for this program. Ankit, are you able to view this one? Yes. 
left test uh, x comma b is equal to non range equal to non density equal to false weight equal to non cumulative equal to false bottom equal to non histogram type bar alignment orientation uh, uh, with uh, color label stack data you can uh, give you can uh, give more arguments uh, depending upon uh, what type of histogram you want right you can fine tune your histogram plot uh, look uh, so that look uh, pleasant right so this one is simple histogram plot okay if you want to fine tune if you want to uh, make your histogram plot uh, more uh, uh, what uh, colorful you can uh, do some other things uh, in the histogram uh, uh, variables okay right okay let's get this one round up this one right so this one is a normalized histogram plot okay so the maximum uh, value minimum value zero maximum value normalized to one right if it is uh, if the maximum value of the image is a uh, uh, pixel value is around uh, some uh, 220 like that uh, so you uh, what you uh, how to the L implementation divide the maximum pixel value divide each pixel value by maximum pixel value of the image so that you can get minimum value zero maximum value one okay zero minimum value zero maximum value one right normalized histogram plot Eight text is copying a portion of an image. I equal to seven. Go to eight text is go to eight text is I equal to seven. Copying a portion of an image, change the blade five to blade one. Right. Um, put a box like this. Okay. Image dot open, supported by the pillow Python library. And uh, okay, you can just get you can view the syntax also. You can uh, if you want to add additional uh, parameters, you can add it here. And what is the command you should to crop the image? Im dot crop. And uh, what is the um, size of uh, what is the uh, edges of the um, what are the edges you want to crop from where to where x y axis 50 uh, minimum x value 200 maximum x value 50 minimum y value maximum y value 200 right so this one okay cropped image from original image okay so what is the command you should to crop an image i am the variable this variable right okay dot crop okay crop box i am dot crop okay okay what is the what is box box contains the four values uh, uh this one 50 corresponds to the minimum x limit 200 corresponds to the maximum x limit and uh, this 50 corresponds to the minimum y limit and this 200 corresponds to the maximum y limit from this to this uh, you can for this box is you are going to crop the original image this image we yeah, can get this crop image like this we are getting you may get crop image like this actually uh, this one is uh, very high value you can just give some 10 bit by should be a large image this one is a very small image okay so 100 like this right. Okay, right. 200 okay right okay the image size is too low uh, 
so you can use a bird file that one is a big image bird file is a big image right so what's the command to crop this image crop image variable dot crop you have to feed the size uh, variables uh, that is the limits upper limit for lower limit for x uh, upper limit for x lower limit for y and uh, y axis and upper limit for y axis ankit shall i proceed to next experiment yes you can ninth experiment shape of an image and the grayscale conversion okay i equal to 8 go to 9 i equal to 8 ninth exercise i equal to 8 ninth exercise Uh, so not to um, convert what I go to eight. Okay, print shape of an image, and uh, we can uh, use bed one also, right? Okay, you can use simple image where whether you are having simple image here in your uh, download of folder, simple PNG. Yeah, it's here. So this one is uh, some somewhat uh, big image and also some uh, taken by some photographer with high resolution. Drag and drop single image. Why I am using single uh, large, uh, large size image? Otherwise, you, have, you can use a Lina image also. Lina image also. For particularly for this exercise. Okay. Run this. So the IE 48 ninth exercise, what I'm going to do here is print the shape of an image. Okay. And then what? Uh, then um, I'm going to separate three images. Uh, image, image matrix blue. Okay, and then I displayed it here. I have plotted those images, red matrix separately, green matrix separately, and blue matrix separately. And then using this red matrix and uh, blue matrix and green matrix, simply I'm just uh, uh, I'm coordinating uh, these three matrix. I'm going to reconstruct the uh, original color image, right? Okay original color image I am getting whether I am getting original color image here this one so this one is actually original color image in this exercise what I am going to do here is just uh, getting the shape of the image right and then uh, um, um, I am separating the red to green blue matrices and uh, I plotted red matrix image and green matrix image and the uh, blue matrix image. And uh, simply by using simple manipulation of uh, uncoordinating red matrix, green matrix, and blue matrix uh, in the uh, appropriate position, um, right? So that I can get uh, the original color image back. This one. This K corresponds to what? Uh, this one. Um, um, uh, red, green, blue, and uh, IJ correspond to the size of the image, uh, width and height. Okay, IJ correspond to width and height, K correspond to the 
matrices, red matrix or blue matrix or green matrix. Whether participants are getting this result, you can use central image or Lina image. Okay, Lina is more standard one compared to this one. Why I uh, I haven't used the bed image? This one, that one is a low uh, resolution image. Yeah, you, uh, if you if you are if you want to again recombine. Uh, red matrix, blue matrix, green matrix, you may not be able to get the original image back. So that's, like that. so that's why I'm using, or you can use Lina image. You can use Lina image, you can get uh, uh, the red back. Ankit, any questions? So, so far we don't have any questions. Okay. Folks, uh, I hope you are getting what Dr. Senthil is uh, teaching you? Simply concording in here. The separating layer red and blue matrix and then just test concording image. This again, testing whether uh, original image back or not. That's not. I and J the uh, width and height of the image and K corresponds to the variable corresponds to the red, green, blue matrix. Just I'm placing a property place. Separating image, just placing those matrices in a part of place. Okay. And uh, what is the 10th exercise image transform? Image transform. I equal to 9. E equal to 9. Ten taxes. E equal to 9. This one. Again, this red one. And the central image also no problem. Third one. Okay. What is the file format? Central image. Central dot png or central dot jpeg. Central dot yeah, yes capital. Central dot png. Okay, finish the image also. Okay. So these are the image transports I found for my uh, I'm doing here. This one is what is the command for image transports? I am dot transpose. This transpose uh, available in the Pillow library. I am is the image variable dot transpose this image dot flip left to right. Flip left to right. Right to left also possible. Left to right. Uh, right to left also possible. Okay. Image dot flip left to right. And uh, another trans, uh, transform transpose image dot flip underscore top all are capital letters this uh, for the image for this image this one is capital letter I is, right i is capital letter capital letters dot flip underscore top underscore bottom bottom to top also possible right okay i am dot transpose image dot to rotate an image rotate underscore what degree 90 degree rotate underscore 180 degree Rotate underscore two thirty degree. Rotate all our cutters underscore what degree you want to rotate that image. Ninety degree, one eighty degree, two thirty degree. I hope all you are getting the answer for this program.
rotate 90 degree, 180 degree, or you can use any other image, not blurred image or sensitive image or linear image, you can use your own image also. Okay. Okay. You can uh, try right to left or so bottom to left, uh, bottom top, or you can uh, uh, do 360 degree or 0 degree or something 45 degree, something like that. And the axis number 11. What is axis number 11? Image filtering. I equal to 10. 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 Okay, image filtering. Bad one. Okay. Blur image dot blur. First one. Uh, type of filtering image filter dot blur. Okay. Image filter dot minimum filter. Image filter dot medium filter. Image filter dot unshop mark. Note the um, letters you should for different types of image filtering. Blurring, simply simple blurring, okay. And the minimum filter, M capital letter, F capital letter. Medium filter, M capital letter, F capital letter. Unshock mask, U capital letter, M capital letter. Okay, this one, first one is Gaussian blur filter output, second one is medium filter output, third one is medium filter output, fourth one is unsoft mask filter output. Different filters produce different outputs. What is filtering? Simply convoluting the filter mask with the image. Right? What do you mean filtering? Filtering is nothing but you are convoluting. You are performing linear convolution and a, a filter mask. If you are original uh, image, you can get a filtered image. Okay, so the, your image is X. I am uh, your image is X. Filter matrix, uh, filter matrix is H. You are getting Y. Different filter output. Um, uh, Gaussian blur, blur filter output, minimum filter output, medium filter output, unsoft mask filter output. Okay, you can change the filter uh, mask size also. Uh, for 3 cross 3, by default 3 cross 3, you can choose 5 cross 5, 9 cross 9, uh, like that. Okay. You can check which one is uh, performing better. Okay. So, uh, Gaussian bar filter, medium filter, medium filter, unsharp mass filter, uh, the, those are uh, what uh, filter matrices of, by default, they are having the size of 3 cross 3. You can choose uh, 5 cross 5 and uh, 9 cross 9, right, by changing the uh, uh, parameters okay that is also possible with this you can check different filter uh, sizes uh, matrix sizes uh, and which one is, you can check which one is better okay. by default it will have three plus three size ankit any doubt up to this ankit any doubt uh no we don't have any okay under the total text size I equal to 11. Simply changing the image file format. So, um, Matplot supports PNG. Uh, Pillow supports uh, Q formats. So uh, we need to convert the image file format. Okay, Matplotlib simply support PNG file format. Uh, I don't know uh, what is the new version Matplotlib supports. Additional format, I don't know. But by default, Matplotlib supports PNG file format only. Okay, I don't know what format now uh, supports Matplotlib. But below supports few format, JPEG, PNG, uh, and uh, um, uh, 
what uh, things uh, like that. Go to the world taxis. Changing image power from PG to J. is not available so far uh, what i'm going to do here is uh, just uh, i'm using this third one dot jpeg also here the same image put this image are given to you run this okay the third one dot jpeg image is opened here and it's saved uh, in the uh, in the name of full underscore size dot png whether it is available in the files go and check it here click here check whether the full underscore size dot png image is available here then, all right full underscore size dot png is available here right. okay. okay disabled here full underscore size dot png open full size underscore dot png then again um full and, uh, and i'm going to display all those image full size dot png uh full size dot jpeg and uh, bird by dot jpeg and bird uh, this one is full size dot uh, third one dot jpeg right this one is also On this program again getting all those files here right full size dot jpeg okay you can get a file full size dot png right? okay. Okay. you can use some other name also converted image file format converted I format converted image. I format converted. I can easily this one bear one dot paper. Bear one dot paper. I format converted dot PNC. this program okay go on see here where one dot jpeg okay file format converted whether it is a converted jpeg to png image is available here check it file format converted image okay okay um all the twelve access are uh, uh, Included in the single Python notebook, this notebook. Okay. Okay, we have uh, tested all the toll access. I want to save this file in drive. By default, save this one. Save this file. Otherwise, it will automatically save in your drive. If you open Gmail in your uh, Google Chrome server, automatically it will save in your drive saving this one save this file okay i'm going to check 
uh, in my drive whether this file is uh, saved automatically in the name of sci-fi 2020 underscore workshop underscore 19 december underscore at plot underscore al dot i5 whether it is saved in the drive by default automatically all changes are saved all changes are saved okay whether this by default it is saved in the our google drive that's why i asked you to open gmail in your google chrome browser if you open the gmail in your google chrome browser without sign out automatically this program is going to save in your google drive corresponding to your gmail id Correspond to your Gmail ID. Go to Google Chrome. Go to your drive. Drive. My drive. Check whether your files are available there. Whether the IPython notebook available there. Say you edited today. Just know. Right here, sci fi 2020 workshop 19 December math plot underscore PAL. I thought it is going to say in your ah, what a drive. That's why I am uh, that way. I asked you to uh, open Gmail in your Chrome browser. No need to sign out, keep it, uh, keep your Gmail as it is. Then uh, you just run this program in the Google folder. It will automatically save for every few minutes. And then uh, open your drive. Your file is available safely in your drive. Okay. If I, if I want to run this program standalone in my Jupyter Netbook or Python or Anaconda Python or Miniconda, what I have to do? Go to this file. Download Python format. Okay, go and check your download folder. It is available in your download folder. Okay, I am not using Jupyter notebook here. Uh, I am not using IPython notebook here. Um, I want to run my program in uh, Anaconda Python or Python in the .py format. Go to this file. Download .py. Okay, okay. You go and check your download folder. You now you have both IPython notebook and also Python file corresponding to this exercise. Okay, okay. Up to this, any uh, doubts? If you want to run in your cloud, uh, if you want to run your. If you want to uh, save your file uh, safely in your drive, what you want to do? Open your uh, Chrome browser and open your uh, login to your Gmail ID. Okay, don't sign out from the Gmail ID. Uh, you can run your program Google. Now, what I have given to you, that program will just run in the Google folder for every five minutes. It will automatically saved in your drive. Go and check in your drive, my drive, my drive. The program is available on drive. Okay, if you want to run your program standalone in the Jupyter notebook or uh, uh, Python notebook, you can download in the format of dot uh, ipynp format. If otherwise, if you want to uh, run this program in the dot py format in the Anaconda Python and the Python and Miniconda, you can download in the format of dot uh, py. Okay, shall we move to the second ipython notebook? Up to this, any uh, queries? Thank uh, uh, So, Dr. Sandel, we have two questions. Okay. So one is by uh, Nidin Jose. He's asking, is there any limits using Google Colab like RAM, CPU, or usage time? Uh, no. If you have a very good uh, uh, connection, uh, by default, uh, the old laptops also support 4 GB RAM. Well, I am using old laptop uh, given by the Canon Sir, Professor Kanan Sir, uh, 2011. He's uh, having a uh, 4 GB RAM only. I am uh, I mean giving demo that la using that lap uh, laptop only. Okay. Uh, so now, now nowadays the la you are having some 8 GB something. No, uh, don't worry about that one. Yeah, minimum 4 GB is sufficient for doing image processing. 
uh, all those things. Uh, so a video processing also. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we have one more question from Mukun. He's asking, what is im.palette? And he's saying that it's showing none for him in the results. So could you explain that? Um, okay. Um, that, uh, well, we, for this image, uh, you don't have any palette. Uh, there are some additional uh, uh, what, uh, uh, information or additional things. If you want to add uh, overlap some other images with this one, or you are adding, uh, you are performing some additional, additional arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, and those things. If you, you can get some uh, information related to palette. And uh, here I'm not uh, having any palette for this third one of the image. Or image or, uh, That's why it's showing none. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Nidhin Joe said he is not asking about the uh, in. I mean, the local system, the laptops, RAM, or CPU. He meant about the cloud. I mean, the Google Cloud, wherever yeah. the okay. IFNB is hosted. Okay. okay. He so means he, if there is any usage limits for that. Yeah. No. If you even if you are using Google uh, Google Cloud, but the first depends upon your uh, internet speed and the second one uh, depends upon your uh, ram also ram also internet speed and ram these okay. two things are uh, that's, uh, important okay yeah uh, so then i hope that answers your question yeah uh, so if we don't have any queries we can move further so move to second uh, access second i python mode using open yes. CV. You open CV. Uh, one thing I want to, uh, one important information I want to share uh, the participants, uh, Google Cloud Road, of course, of uh, uh, course, we can use it in the mobile phone also. You can, uh, yeah, you may have some uh, soft nail also, the students may have soft nail so that uh, you can trap those images uh, in that, uh, no need for laptop. Uh, for me, I'm old person, I, I need laptop to track and drop the images. For students, they don't need uh, any, and uh, a laptop they can uh, do this uh, they can practice this access in the mobile phone also they may have soft mail so you can track and uh, drop the image files video files here but if you want to perform uh, video processing applications you have to uh, use standalone uh, python uh, you, you have to install standalone python in your uh, laptop uh, your cloud is not uh, not uh, that much uh, efficient for, for, for video processing. These are still image processing. Video processing, you may have some problems, uh, say, in the cloud, or working on cloud. So what you have to do, you, have to do, uh, you can use uh, Python, uh, you have Jupyter Notebook, okay, and uh, Python, okay. Uh, if you want to perform video processing, you can uh, download Python, Anubata Python in your system, and you can uh, and do video processing. So that one is much efficient. Cloud is not that much efficient for video processing. That is something that is uh, uh, useful for uh, image processing, still image processing, so machine learning, deep learning, or simple applications. They are using data, so much data, but uh, the data size is limited. Small, they are small. Even if they are using uh, machine learning or deep learning, they are using a data of size of some. Uh, um, uh, three and uh, three so there's a four thousand data like that, but the data size is uh, small, some uh, 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10, or one dimensional data. So, um, uh, so the cloud uh, so, uh, source uh, doesn't show any difference, okay, between standard or application and uh, uh, cloud. So, if you only if you are going for a large image uh, file, image file size of large, large image file size and uh, video processing. Then only you can uh, visualize the difference between the cloud and uh, standalone uh, Python, Python, Anaconda Python and the Python. Okay, shall we move to the next axis? Uh, yeah, so we didn't have get any queries, so we can move to the next. Okay. So um, in my drive, um, Okay, Google. Uh, just I'm uh, 
I want to close this. Okay. Now just I can open here from here itself. File. Or you can close. File. Upload notebook. Or open notebook. If you are having your file in your Google Drive, you can open it from here or upload it to the file from your desktop. Upload my file. Choose file. Image processing using OpenCV. Image processing using OpenCV. Passing using open C. Image passing using open C. Are you able to view this file? Python notebook? Sci fi India 2030 workshop on digital image passing using. Google Colab, image passing using open CV. And keep. Are you able to view this? Yep. Uh, maybe we can wait for a minute or so so that okay, the, okay. the okay. attendees can open that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we, yeah. So the they are responding. They got it. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. So you can continue. Okay. Right. In this also, we are going to discuss about reading an image and display, displaying image and uh, title of an image, getting image file information, and splitting RGB matrix. And um, uh, from the RGB matrix, we are going to get virtual image, converting color image into grayscale image, vertical stack and horizontal stack using NumPy. Okay. Uh, rotating an image, okay, image transform, image cropping, displaying text on an image. So what is the need for image open CV? Uh, we already have uh, we already uh, did uh, this access in the uh, with the help of Matplotlib and Trello. Why we are going for open CV? Open CV is just like Matlab, uh, right? So uh, Matlab is much more uh, uh, it's a, it's a what uh, it's a efficient tool for passing image and video passing, still image passing and video passing. So. Um, uh, so if you want to come uh, compete with MATLAB, you have to use more uh, what uh, MATLAB-like functions, right? So those MATLAB-like MATLAB -like functions are available in Active, Active, also OpenCV also. So um, OpenCV is a, a much more efficient tool for image, still image passing and video passing compared to Pillow and uh, what uh, MATLAB. Is. Another library a library is available that is not that is uh, I am not going to discuss with you that is Psychic Image, uh, Professor uh, uh, Prabhu Ramachandran sir uh, uh, doing lot of work using uh, um, what uh, Psychic Image. He already insisted, insisted me in the last uh, workshop itself. Uh, he asked me to work on a Psychic Image. I am trying to work with uh, Psychic Image if time permits. Okay. So OpenCV is a much more efficient tool for image processing compared to MATLAB and uh, what payload. Okay. So uh, uh, these are the access we are going to discuss with OpenCV. We are going to practice with using OpenCV. In the okay. So which image I am here? Here also I am using third one image. So go to files. Right. Drag and drop third one image. one image
ओके सो दिस आर द एक्सरसाइज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द कैन आई डिस्कस नाउ ओके सो व्हाट इज द कमांड यू शुड टू इंपोर्ट ओपन सीवी इंपोर्ट सीवी टू टू और नाउ आई एम थिंक आई थिंक व्हाट व्हाट आई एम थिंकिंग इज नाउ सीवी थ्री सीवी टू सीवी थ्री आल्सो अवेलेबल नाउ नॉट आई एम नॉट फेमिलियर विद सीवी थ्री ओके द करंट क्वेश्चन इज सीवी टू इंपोर्ट सीवी टू uh the this command you should import the open cv libraries okay and import numpy as mpy okay import matplotlib and uh, its associated uh, uh plotting libraries matplotlib.pyplot as plt so this uh, now to import open cv you have to use this command import cv2 just run this whether you are getting any error okay no error okay if i want to show the uh, image um, in the simple open cv you can do open cv2 dot im show in the stand alone uh, python uh, packages uh, python 3.8 and uh, anaconda python 3.6 3.7 you can uh, simply display the image by using the command cv2 dot im show but that is not possible in the google pole app in google pole you have to do some modifications um, from uh, from the normal mode what you have to do here in pole we can't use the standard im function google pole up crashes if it uses the standard function instead of import from google pole up pole up patches import cv2 im show and display using cv2 im show cv2 cv uh, Um, some uh, we are going to modify the display command cv2 underscore im show okay so we are not using the actual open cv function to display the image so in this uh, stand alone python packages and uh, uh, python packages python 3.7 python 3.8 and anaconda python 3.7 3.8 and uh, using the normal command cv2 dot im show but that command is not working in uh, google pole app we uh, we, uh, we have to modify that command for uh, image display and uh, for uh, for some other uh, open cv commands also so what is the command for uh, displaying the image in open cv by using cv open cv cv2 underscore open uh, cv2 underscore im show and also we, uh, we we have to include that uh, command before going to execute that program particular program from google From Google dot pole up dot patches import cv2 underscore im show. Okay, without this uh, import library, the program will not work. It will not display the image. It's uh, it uh, it uh, shows some error. So okay, so run this from Google dot pole up dot patches import cv2 underscore im show. So what is the actual want to display an uh, image? In the open CV, CV2 dot IM show, CV2 dot under show, uh, the, the CV2 dot IM show is the actual command to display an image using open CV. But for Google Pole, we are modifying that command. What is the command in Google Pole for display an image using open CV? CV2 underscore IM show, CV2 underscore IM show. Okay, run this. Okay. Okay, right. Again, run this. Okay, with the image and C underscore I am sure. Right. Run this. Okay, you can get this result. If you use C two dot I am sure, it will show error. For Google Pole App, we are modifying this command CV2 under Python. This one is the first access. Simple image reading and uh, displaying an image. Uh, open CV. Uh, we we uh, some we have some uh, additional options in Open CV. You can read the color image by giving the one here. If you give if you if you are giving 
So what is the command the uh, for converting the color image into the grayscale image? This img variable has, is having the color image matrix value. CV to correspond to the open CV. What is the command in the open CV to convert the color image into grayscale image? Just uh, by dragging the mouse here, we can uh, see the command. Okay, CV to dot color underscore RGB to gray. Okay. Okay, this command is to convert the color image into the grayscale image, gray, gray image. I am going to show the gray image here. Just run this program. You can get the gray image here. Gray image here. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to uh, cascading uh, two images vertically, horizontally. I want to display. Uh, two images in a single image window and uh, not using the subplot uh, command or plot command okay for that uh, numpy supports uh, one um, uh, numpy has some uh, options uh, not to cascade two images uh, um, vertically v stack is useful and not to cascade two images horizontally we can use head stack we can uh, concordate uh, uh, more than two images also Vertically or horizontally. What is the command you should to concurrently two images vertically, V stack, and horizontally H stack? Okay. CV2 underscore color underscore grade to BGR. Okay. So this gray image has three channels. Okay, three channels. And this one is the gray image, gray underscore three underscore channel is a gray image, three channels. All the three channels have the same matrix, same values, same values. Okay. So, so in order to concurrent concordant two images, one is the color image, another one is the grayscale image. Uh, both are having the uh, same height and width, but uh, the color image has uh, three channels. So that's why uh, I'm uh, uh, what I'm uh, I'm uh, converting a single channel grayscale image into three scale uh, three channel grayscale image. What's the command for this one? Uh, this one uh, CV2 color gray underscore gray comma CV2 dot color underscore grade to BGR. This command converts the uh, what um, uh, single gray image into what uh, say single uh, matrix, uh, sorry, sorry, single channel gray matrix into three channel three channel matrix. So that we can uh, concordate uh, uh, what uh, um, a color image with a grayscale image. Uh, this gray has single channel, only uh, one matrix only. So we convert this one uh, single channel into three channels. Okay. The NP dot P stack. NP corresponds to the numpy variable and the NP H stack horizontal stacking. This IMG is the color image and the gray three channel is the gray image having three matrices. Three matrices. All changes are saved. Okay. The programs are saved automatically. Okay, right. in my drive, in my drive. So all of you, uh, if you are running in using Google Colab, uh, uh, logging using Gmail ID, automatically this program saved in your drive. The drive is from your Gmail ID, map up to your Gmail ID, ID right? Okay. Uh, Dr. Sendil, uh, sorry okay. to interrupt. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you have 15 more minutes to wrap up. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Okay, okay. So we still only one. We have some three or two or three access only. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Then this. Okay. We can get a uh, uh, vertical stacking. This one. And uh, horizontal stacking. This one. Right. Horizontal stacking. Right. Okay. So for vertical stacking and horizontal stacking, we can use numpy command. We can use numpy command. Numpy command. Numpy supports this. B stack, H stack. Vertical stacking and horizontal stacking of images. Okay. Now we move to next axis. Bear two. I don't have bear two image in this here. here. Mm, okay. Drag and drag and drop file here. There too.
okay drag and drop that to just uh, rotating that image image transform by getting the width and height of the image go to some degree virtual image rotate the image okay we can change if i want to change the rotation degree and degree we can uh, change it here 90 degree 180 degree Degree, right? You can change the rotation degree here. Okay, image transform, image rotation. First, to get the rotation matrix by using this uh, TV2 dot get rotation matrix 2D and then fill this rotation matrix in the warp up in, up in transformation, warp up in here. Image 3 is the blurred 2 and the rotation matrix information uh, showed in the uh, uh, how much degree you want to rotate the image, width and height of the image, all those things are uh, stored in the rotation matrix, comma, original width, comma, height, okay. Um, um, then you can get the rotated image here. So first you generate the rotation matrix and then you feed this rotation matrix in the warp popping command, okay. First the original color image. And the uh, uh, information, how much you want to rotate, how much degree you want to rotate, all those things are uh, stored in the rotation matrix. And the original width and height of the image, you know, IGM3 image, version image. Then you can get the rotate image here. Then, if you want to crop this image, you can. Uh, Crop the original image by getting the height and width, modifying the height and width, and fitting the height and width in the that is directly you can uh, uh, crop the original image. Original image and crop image, you can uh, uh, change the uh, character here. Point in the point, you can uh, use uh, um, point. Height uh, in row um, point nine. Okay, the point five minus point five. Right. You can get like this crop image. If I want to play, uh, if you want to what uh, first yeah, text in your uh, image. Um, uh, in your image, use the um, open CV function cv2 dot put text t capital letter put text image original image okay comma what text you want to paste it in your image for example one and uh, what is the position of that uh, particular image then comma put t and what is the font style you can uh, choose font style here comma and the font uh, size two, and um, um, what uh, what is the uh, uh, values of this uh, maximum value of the uh, your pixels here, right? Okay, can use zero or something in, uh, like this, and you can change if you want to change the font, you can change it here. Just type here, you can see different font varieties are available. The four. Yep, O. Let's see complex. Let's see complex. You can use different font. Uh, you can use some other text here. Hello. Hello. Like this. And this program. Yeah. You can paste some other text in your image. Some other text here. Yes, number is here. And if you want to run the video processing program, uh, 
um, so that's what I'm. Uh, uh, that's what I already said. Interested to you? Uh, if you want to run the video processing, if you want to do video processing, uh, the uh, cloud is not uh, efficient. Tool pull up is not efficient. Uh, simple uh, you may video processing you can do in two pull up. If you want to look at the applications, uh, if you want to develop full fledged applications using OpenCV, you can install OpenCV in your uh, uh, Python or uh, Amada Python or Miniconda, and uh, from there you can operate so that you can uh, develop full fledged applications using OpenCV. Video processing based applications using OpenCV. Here, just I'm going to paste the Bullfinch video file. Place the video file here. Get the part of the video file. Place the part of the video file. You can run this. You can get a frame of the grayscale uh, gray converted image. You are not getting any error. Get the path of the video file. So, I've done this program. You can get the grayscale converted image. Frame by frame. Uh, Ankit, are you able to view the screen? The screen? Yes, I can. Python? Yeah, the Python by code by is. By the same yes, program I'm yes, going to run in the standalone Python, Python yes. application. The same program. You can visualize the video processing. Uh, video processing. How it works in the standalone Python. Right? Yeah. If you, use, if, you are, if you want to perform video processing, you can better go for a, a standalone uh, um, Python packages. Okay, so you can visualize how efficient the standard application. But here it is very difficult for you to what uh, um, you know, if you want if you want to you know, very difficult to view the video processing results in the two uh, lab, right? Is somewhat disturbing, somewhat uneasy, disturbing, uh, uh, not comfort uh, using blue polar for video processing. So, if you want to perform video processing, better go uh, better install OpenCV in Python or Anamata Python, and uh, you can start to work with uh, start to develop uh, video processing applications using OpenCV, right. Uh, that's all about it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so we have. Just, uh, 
Ah. Okay. Yeah. So we do have a question here from Gokaran. He is asking, can you make an image more cleaner using image processing? Like for example, taking some seventies images and make them colorful. Is it possible? Uh, what he is asking? Seventy. So uh, if I take some old images, like from seventies or so, uh, can we make okay. that image colorful or something like that? Some by processing. No, but artificially we can uh, see whether that is color or base color. Mm -hmm. So I think the 70s images are grayscale images. So what he means okay. to ask is if he can take a gray, grayscale image and do some processing and make it colorful. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, you can convert those images into color images, but artificially. Okay. Uh, we don't know the exact color of background, all those things, and the uh, color, all those uh, we can approximately predict and we can uh, convert those images into color images. Only prediction only. Approximately we can predict. And if the human skin is like this, this color, background is this color, uh, maybe photo like this color, table like this color, flowers like this color, approximately we can convert. Just okay. what, 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 you can just uh, add grayscale values and then uh, you can do uh, two matrices upon two matrices, you can uh, convert the uh, grayscale images to color. Okay, okay. Not, yeah. not, not uh, exactly. But not exactly. Okay. That's not the that much pleasant. Lina okay. image is also taken around only in the 70s and only. Lina image. Okay. Original image, scale image. Yeah. Uh, so Gokaran, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, yeah. So it's one. So I hope you are done with your workshop, Doctor Sindhil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So thank you for that wonderful workshop. It was quite interactive and interesting. Well, uh, I have a quick question for you. Uh, so apart from OpenCV, uh, are you using any other tool for image processing or uh, video processing? For Not in this workshop, general. but in general. I'm using OpenCV for uh, video processing. And still image processing, I'm using a uh, map object, combined map object and a pillow. OK. So you are working on that, right? Yeah. And already yesterday I shared one file to you. Uh, that file contains 15 video processing uh, tutorials. That you can do standalone Python or Python. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so but thank you. Have, so even Jupyter Notebook also. Okay. Even it works for Jupyter Notebook also. The put in Okay. Yeah. So right. Google Code only you are getting some problems like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll stop here for our uh, lunch break. It is from 1 to 2. So feel free to have your lunch. Then hop in again into hop in and check out the website, the networking feature launch. You can interact with speakers if they are available or you can do a one on one, one chatting with other attendees if they are OK with that. So you can explore all those stuff. Also, we have our expo from 2 o'clock, I guess, to 2.30. Uh, please free to join there and know more about FOSI and how things are organized here and what you can do as a part of your contribution. OK, uh, thank you for now closing of this session. Uh, thank you, Ankit, and uh, thank you, Susidaka, and uh, thank you, Prabhu Ramachandam, sir, for giving me this opportunity uh, to present my in this workshop. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir.